Hello everyone, this is Satvik and in this video we'll be discussing about how I basically use ChatGPT for my pen testing as well as the bug bounty purpose. So without getting any delay, let's dive into the video. Guys, first of all, really, really thank you for all your support. If you want to connect with me personally, you can check out my Twitter. And if you want to be part of this channel's community, you can check out my Discord server. All the links are in the description below. So guys, uh, if you've been following the news and stuff for a while, so you might all know about what ChatGPT is. So ChatGPT is like some sort of an AI uh like uh, assistant you can call so which is like much advanced like we've seen a lot of assistants uh like uh, virtual assistants like google assistant siri and stuff but this chat gpt is of the next level so whatever you have whatever you know whatever you ask it tries to answer it so and i've been using this chat gpt like most of you might also be using but uh, how i'm using this is what all this video is about so you can see the chat gpt here so open like this is uh, developed by open ai so kudos to them and it uh, this AI is trained in a lot of technology so whatever you ask like till now I asked a lot of stuff so mostly the questions that I ask are from uh, like uh, pen testing bug bounty as well as uh, programming so I think like it answered almost all those questions uh, there are some questions like it cannot answer like cause they are uh, offensive like create a ransomware and some sort of stuff like that so that's the thing so that's the thing uh, that's the catch you have here like since it is being developed for like uh, it's in the beta version you can call uh, like uh, uh, but future in future you can see that this can uh, this will be a paid service okay and also most of the exams are banning this thing. So it's fine so you can see a, a terminal here uh, a, a, a kind of interface here so where you can type your question and for example if i don't know what kerberos is what is kerberos for example so like it tries to answer it so like it's not like you can um, you can ask the same question in the google also but uh, sometimes it, um, mostly like when i search on google so the chance of getting misleaded like they might be some sort of an ad some sort of stuff like that so there's a high chance that you may get uh what you can say like misleaded or uh, this is like straightforward okay this is like straightforward pretty straightforward like you can also ask some other doubts like for example uh what is uh uh for example what is ldap or what is cat roasting so make sure you're typing the spellings right okay so cat roasting so not only offensive side you can even search from uh, for some other stuff like uh, like write me a program to uh, solve this particular sort of problem uh, fibonacci series for example okay uh, for some example like it is trained in like lo a lot of technologies okay so it is not uh limited for some stuff so for example let us uh, let us assume that you are learning some rust language or some stuff like that so you are stuck somewhere like you are solving some sort of a problem you don't know or you're trying to write a tool which you don't know and you can make use of this chat gpt okay so it's really wonderful so i've been using it okay so for example uh I can mention something like uh, write a script in Python so I can specify something like this for subdomain enumeration okay so I don't know how to do uh, enumeration so I'll, I already made a script uh, a video on how to make that uh, using Python 3 but I'm just testing my assistant okay and also guys I feel this is some sort like Jarvis okay so if you add some voice uh, like uh, what you can say uh, answers in the format of voice like it is easy only but uh, once you do that so it will act like Jarvis you know like uh, even though like this gets a paid thing I think in future it will be definitely be a paid subscription uh, right now it is in the free researcher preview like uh, it's a preview itself okay you don't know what it can actually do so like in future if I'll definitely buy this cause like it saves me a lot of time okay so I can ask here and it gets the thing done and you can see here it is using socket uh, you can uh, you, uh, ask uh, like if you have any specific doubt uh, like specific requirements like for example you want to use a module called as a request for example you can write something like uh, write the script in python for subdomain enumeration using request module or some stuff like that okay so like you can try to uh, what you can see uh stuff like that and you can even see the content may violate our policy uh like uh since uh, it's like most of these questions okay the pen testing questions are being flagged like this but it's fine okay so you can uh, report them and that's fine 
and also you can write the same script okay so you can write a bash uh, one liner uh, for ping sweep for example like uh, this is like really wonderful like you don't even need to refer your notes okay so or something like that so sometimes it may not answer it uh, it's taking some time and also guys uh, do note that uh, currently this chat gpt is on like high demand so you can see uh, and like the left corner here like sometimes you can't even log in because like there is huge number of traffic going on over there so uh, uh, keep that in mind okay so sometimes it's not it's not uh, loading up or something like that and even it is slow uh, when i when i was using from the starting onwards like it used to be fast but right now it is a bit slow uh cause the because of this uh, demand okay so like this you can do that and one more thing that i basically use is like i reported few vulnerabilities these uh in this last few days and i've been using this chat gb to chat gpt to like generate the reports like for example uh, uh let us assume that i found some sort of like uh, csrf vulnerability so i can simply write uh write a csrf uh, a uh, vulnerable csrf report or something like that so you can be pretty simple you can try to understand it okay so it generate it'll uh, give you some sample sort of a report and you can mention that in an email or some stuff like that like you can add your pocs and stuff like i don't uh, like completely what you can say like uh, recommend you to do that but like you will be having some sort of stuff right which you need to copy paste from somewhere so instead of doing from somewhere else like you can use this like not only for csrf like for example you found some business logic where you are able to change a picture change the profile picture of some users or some stuff like that so you can uh, ask the same like write a report for uh, write a bug bounty report where i was able to change the picture of uh, other users like unauthorized access something like that so it is going to generate a report for that this is really smart guys okay really really smart like you can use this so i've been using this like since it came okay so it's really cool okay so i removed some of those uh, chats over there because some of them were like uh, like those are related to my work and stuff so that's the reason i removed them but this is wonderful okay and also you can ask for something like uh, uh, give me some uh, sample xss payloads uh, sorry xss payloads for example so it will it will give you some but those are not much effective okay so this is being some sort of like uh, uh, this place on so some sort of like safe side okay so this is one of them uh, this payload uses something like that okay so i'll stop generating because there are a lot of xss payloads and it keeps on giving you and one thing is like you can even write extensions for the perp suite so i've uh, read some blogs over there so where people are saying that they were able to write some burp extensions so which is written in something like jython i guess so it uses something like jython uh, which is like combination of java and python but that's uh, out of scope so you can develop tools like if you have something in your mind or for example you're stuck somewhere you can use this it generates tools like a uh, charm okay so something like that and also coming to the last section okay so uh, you can always do some sort of like a code review so like you can uh, paste your code over there okay for example like and you can try to find out the information like if you are also stuck like uh, how to for example i don't know how to look for idors for example i don't know something like that okay so doubts some general doubts so related to some something like pen test as we're sticking with the pen testing and the bug bounty so this is what i'm searching for but like the scope is unlimited okay like if you want to use it for games like if you want if you are playing chess and if you want to improve improve yourself so you can search for that uh, if you are uh, like um, just starting with something like if you're just starting with the pen testing you can uh, use the, uh, like you can use it as your like a mentor okay so some sort of a mentor which is available for you for free of cost okay so that is it guys so this video is like pretty small the reason why i made this video is like my system is running on some unlimited resources and i don't want to break the streak of uploading videos so that's the reason i uploaded that and i hope you learned something new i guess most of you uh, you may learn most of this stuff okay so many of them made videos but this video is all about how i basically or generally use this chat gpt so if you end up liking this video make sure you like it and do share with your friends who are really interested in this sort of stuff so this is atvik signing off i'll meet you in the next video thank you